Hello, everybody. My name is Debbie, and we are being joined with Ashley, my assistant, who is filming, and she's the one who does the interacting with you. Um, we are at Reliance Medical Centers. We're in the activities uh, room, and we're going to be doing the bone motor exercises, all of them, which we have been doing. Um, these are uh, a federally granted program through the RSVP in Bartow. They are geared at uh, folks that are 55 and up, and these were designed to literally reverse the uh, effects of osteoporosis. Since I've been doing these, um, I've had two ladies that were taken off of their bone density medication, and I've had other people that, um, I have one lady who had had shoulder and rotator cuff uh, repair surgery that had started with this, wearing a full brace, and then she went to a sling and then nothing. She was released early from her therapy because she was getting the same exercises here. Um, this program has also helped people get up out of their chairs. Uh, I have one um, gentleman, a very, very young man. He is 91 years old. Uh, Mr. Leonard, who when he came uh, to us, he was walking with the walker and it didn't take but about three months and no more walker. And he is just doing fantastic. Can't wait till we all get back together and exercise. But this program truly helps with balance and arthritis. And I refer to myself as an old war horse because I have old injuries that back in, you know, when they occurred, I didn't have the money or insurance to take care of them. And now that uh, I've been able to go to doctors and have testings and whatnot, um, they're basically irreparable, but um, they have helped me so much with my torn rotator cuffs. I've got that shore, I've got sciatica, COPD, the breathing techniques that we do. So this program is really geared at anybody who is out there that have, has upper arm issues or sciatica, COPD. So I want you to let me know if these exercises have been helping you. Um, we've been doing these since May the 5th. So that's a couple, about two and a half months, and um, you should be feeling the differences now, but I'd really appreciate if you would um, get with us, let us know if you've had any progress and how it has helped you in your daily life. Okay, well, get that out of the way. We're going to get started. We're going to do our stepping. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now we're going swimming. Six forward and six backwards. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now our breaststrokes. They come from behind and go forward. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now we're going to do our first chair stance. We're to do 12 of these in our entire workout, and I'll have to divide them up in the sets of three. Okay, remember if you can get up, you have to sit these out, no problem. If you can do just one or every other one, you're doing great. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we're going to start. 
our warm ups. Remember, when we sit down, we're to sit halfway up in our chair. Our back is to be relatively straight, and our feet are always lined up with our hips. The first one, we're going to go down with our neck and up, slowly rotate it to the right and to the left. Ready? Begin. Down, up, one, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Down, up, three, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Down, up, five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, our next one is our ear to shoulder, not shoulder to ear. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the next one's going to be our head circles. We're going to tuck our chin and slowly rotate it three times to the right and then three times to the left. Ready? Begin. One, two, three. Now to the left. One, two. Again, crack my neck three times on the right. Okay, our next one now is going to be our A E I O U. We're going to touch each finger to our thumbs and then come back like this. As we do that, we're going to say A E I O U, which helps our mouth muscles. Ready? Begin. A E I O U. A E I O U. A E I O U A E I O U A E I O U and A E I O and U. Okay, keep your arms out. We're going to do claws, and when we do this, we're going to blink our eyes and crunch our toes. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. Five and six. This is how we're going to hold our hands up and we're going to curl our four fingers and leave our thumbs out. Continue eyes and toes. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, this next one we're going to put our arms, lock our arms behind our neck. Once you get it behind your neck, then pull them down so that you can try to catch your elbows. Kind of like doing a push-up with your elbows. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now, let your arms dangle down to your side. And we're going to literally lift one shoulder up and then the other. 
These are our shoulder shrugs. And then we're going to do them together. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now we're going to do our arm shoulder circles. We're just going to rotate them, one and then the other, and then we're going to come from the back. And remember, if you start the wrong direction, just reverse it. And then we're going to do them together, going forward, and then coming backwards. Okay, ready? Begin. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now together. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now we're going to do our arm and our leg circles. And in the second half, we're going to do our wrist circles. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now our wrists. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now the other side. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now our wrists. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now the advanced move for this, right arm, left leg, and then we're going to try to do them in opposite directions. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now your other side. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, our last ones are our ankle stretches. And the first one, you're going to come out just a little bit further in your chair. Extend your right leg, and we're going to alternate turning our foot from side to side. And it's going to take your knee and your upper thigh moving those in order to get a good turn on your foot. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, opposite. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now scoot back in just a little bit, but still make sure that you're halfway up in your chair. And this is really important that your feet are lined up perfectly with your hips on this one. This is our heel and toe taps. Now the first one, we're going to leave our heels on the floor and we're going to rotate our toes out and then straight back in. And then we're going to rotate them in and, and straight back out. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now go in. Begin. 
One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now the second half, we're going to leave our toes on the floor, and we're going to, and this is harder for me, to rotate them out. And then we're going to rotate them in. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go in. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, that concludes our warm ups. Let's all get up. And for those of you who cannot, if you want to stay in your chair, you can do this deep breathing technique. I like to stand and I like to elevate our arms up and back down. That helps lift and open up our diaphragm, which allows us to feel more air in our lungs. Okay, ready? Begin. One more time. Okay, go get your first drink of water. Good morning, everybody. I hope we're having a great morning. We have a very special shout out to Miss Patricia Kelly. I wonder why you put that face in Miss Kelly, but I hope you're having fun and I hope you're making your bones strong. Make sure you like, comment, and share. And thank you again for coming. Oh, we also have a shout out for Miss Jane Vaught. Thank you to you too. Thank you guys so much for liking and commenting. Thank you. Okay. Now our next segment is balance. And I told you that we do a total of 12 chair stands. So we're gonna start, start our balance with four chair stands and we're gonna end them with four chair stands. Okay, remember, if you can only do one, one's good. A couple weeks, you'll be able to do two. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we're going to get up. We're going to get behind your chair. I do want to say hi to Patricia Kelly, one of my best friends. Hi to Jane. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Okay, now anytime we work behind the chair, Want to make sure that you're like one foot distance from the, the back of the chair. That allows us to work under and around it a lot easier. Now the first part is our heel and toe stands. This really, really helps strengthen the calf muscle and the lower back of your hamstring. We're going to rotate going up on our heels slowly and then back down and then our toes. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. 
in six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, and six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, our next one is our leg rise. We're just going to lift our leg and hold it for a count of 12. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now your left side, your left leg lift. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now we're going to do what we call the stork leg. It's where we pick it up, put it against the inner side of our other leg, our knee. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now your left side. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now we're to the tandem heel to toe. Now this really, really, really helps your balance, and it takes a long time to be able to stand without holding on. So make sure you're directly behind your chair when you uh, start doing this. Your front leg is what we call a soft knee. That's just a slightly bent knee. And you're going to plant all of your weight on your back leg. And then anytime you're doing balance, especially a tandem heel to toe or walk, your focal point should always be straight ahead. Never look up, never look down. That'll cause you to lose your balance quicker than anything. Okay, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now switch it. Okay, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, let's do that one more time. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And last time. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <coughs> ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Now, if you want to get really feisty, we can do the tandem heel to toe. Now, if you're at home doing these exercises versus in the gym or wherever, um, get next to a wall. If you go to lose your balance, you can lean against that. But that is just literally doing the heel to toe walking. Try frontwards and then backwards. And then increase your steps. Sometimes I can do it really good. Okay, now our next one is the marching. I like to visualize being like a toy soldier marching in band. And this is where we're going to literally raise our right arm and our knee, and we're going to alternate for 12. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, this next time we're going to do our right arm and our left leg. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, this next one is more of a coordination thing. As we're doing the alternating, the right arm, left leg, we're going to turn our head sideways. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That's a little harder than what it looks. Okay, now we're ready for our deep breathing technique. Remember your soft legs. Okay, begin. <clears throat> One more time. Go get you some water. All right, we have a couple more shout outs. One for Miss Pamela Taylor. Miss Pamela Taylor said that she had done the one with the shoulder, one of the exercises, I'm assuming, with the shoulders, and it's already feeling much better. Mm -hmm. So just remember, if you guys continue to watch and participate with Debbie, you'll see a lot of improvements. Debbie has a couple of success stories. You could be the next one. So just keep on working with us. <clears throat> That's wonderful, Pamela. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. <clears throat> Let me know what your issue was. <clears throat> Mine is a, a bad shoulder on my right side and a really bad um, torn rotator cuff on the left. And when I first started doing these, you know, because I like to do hair and makeup like a lot of women do. I couldn't reach and use my curling iron, you know, from behind my head or pull my, head, you know, my hair out. And now I have absolutely no problem. My range of motion has improved so much. But if you have any of your arms that uh, bother you, any of the exercises, let me know. And we'll come up with an alternative if I haven't already shown you one. Okay. Now... If you're working with weights, remember always start with one pound to work your way up. I've got one lady who uses three pound weights. That sure wouldn't want to arm wrestle her. She's been doing these for quite a while. Our first one is our arm curls. We start at our side and we're going to come up and it's just a continuous motion. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the next one are our overhead arm lifts. And this is one where we have an alternative way of doing that. Um, the regular way is to elevate your arm straight up, always reinforce it with your other hand underneath the armpit and we slowly come back, touch our shoulder and bring it back up. Second round, I'll do the alternative. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, left side. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. 
two, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, and six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Our next one is our shoulder blade squeeze. We start about halfway between our thighs and our knees. And we're going to keep our arms tucked to our sides. And we're going to come straight back like a choo-choo train motion. But when we come back in our back motion, we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together, release them, and then come back down. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. The next one is called backward press. And we're going to take our arms and go up as far as we can, holding for that brief second. Bring them back and rest them same place, halfway between your knees and your thighs. This, ladies, is so good for your underarm, I call them wings. And when we do this, we slightly bend our upper body at a 45 degree angle that allows us to go back even further. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, these next two, I like to stand up. Just gets me off the chair. You can stay down. Makes absolutely no difference for these next couple. Remember your soft knees. We're gonna start here at our chest. This is a horizontal arm stretch. And just come straight out and straight back in. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the next one I call the parallel arm stretch because we're going to start down here at our thighs, come up and go straight out, come back and down. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what we call shake it out, just kind of move your arms, your shoulders around. And we're going to sit down, 
Do them all over again. Remember, the arms and the legs are all core exercises from here to here. So we're to do 12 of them. I like to split them up and do them in sets of six. Okay, always remember once we're sitting down, to sit up in our chair halfway, back relatively straight, and our feet lined up with our hips. Okay, we're gonna go straight through these. Arm curls are first. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the next one's the overhead arm lift. Now I'm going to be doing the alternative. You want to turn slightly to your left. Start straight out. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now slightly turn to your opposite side. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. When I do the alternatives, I think of my C class, and in there is Shirley Thomas. I can give you a shout out. You girl, Lenora Box. Hey there. And I've also got Sarah Hood and Don Floyd and uh, Sam Juanita. I miss you guys. Okay, now we're going to do the shoulder leg squeeze. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. Squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four. Squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight. Backward press, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Last two, I like to stand up. There again, you can stay sitting down, the same benefit. Now this one is called going for the top shelf. Don't go straight up. 
but out at a small angle, like you are reaching for your tallest shelf in your kitchen. Okay, start here at your chest level. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And then the last one is called Hug a Tree. We're going to start here, chest level, and make sure that your arms are completely tucked into your side. We're going to go straight out as far as you can, but leave those arms tucked in. That can tell you how bad that your upper arm or your rotator cuff is. It's the best exercise ever to increase those. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now for our deep breathing. For our arms and our legs, that is core, we're going to do two six-point breaths. The motions for this, we come up, up above our heads, out to the sides, bring them in, then pull them in, and straight down. Okay, ready, begin. Again. Okay, go get you some more water. We have a shout out for Miss Leslie Rosinski. I'm so sorry, I mess it up every time. She says, You're rocking it today, Debbie. And we also have, I think, a new viewer from as far as I've been here, which is Miss Tiger Lily Joan. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you all so much. Make sure you're staying hydrated every time Debbie takes a sip. You should too. Remember, if you're working with weights, move them away from our next segment, which are our legs. You don't want to have to work around them. Trip, ball. <laughs> okay, I'm going to kind of turn this to the side. Now, these are our legs. We do three movements. We go up under our chair for one. We go to the side, and then we go to the back. Okay, for the first set, I like to do all the front, and then all the side, and all the back. To reiterate, when we go to the side, make sure you keep your foot the same direction as your other foot. If you turn it perpendicular, you get absolutely no benefit in the hip, the hip joint, or the pelvic area. And let's face it, all seniors, the biggest fracture or break is in that area. Okay, and then when we go back, make sure your legs stay straight, that you point your toe towards the floor, and that your upper body is at a 45 degree angle, and then you bring it back like this. Okay, let's get started. We're going to do all of our front first. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. 
two, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, Six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Now to our side. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Now to the back. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, do what we call shake it out. We're going to do our second six to make 12. Okay, now this time we're going to do front, side, back, front, side, back. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. To the side. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. To the back. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Now all over again. Two, two, three, four, hold. Five, six, seven, eight. 
two, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. And three, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Five, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. And six, two, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, how does that feel? Feels pretty good. Okay, now let's do our two six point breaths. Ready? Begin. One more time. Okay, go get do some more water. <clears throat> All right, it's kind of hot outside, right, Debbie? Mm -hmm. So then you know what we should be doing? Hydrating. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a great day. Last night I didn't sleep too well, so I hope everybody got a great night of sleep because I know how it, how it feels when you don't. I hope everyone's feeling healthy and I hope everyone's staying safe inside because Florida is going crazy with COVID. It's nothing to be scared about. Just be safe for your benefit and for ours because we would never want anything bad for any of you. 
She's so right about the humidity, though. Um, as I was doing the lakes, I'm pretty sure I heard it starting to rain. You never know when it's going to rain or when it's not. But the humidity, the dew point level has been so high. And I do want to continue to stress how important these deep breathing exercises are and how they have literally helped me. And uh, I told you I was literally born with asthma and allergies, sinuses, all that good stuff. So continue to do your deep breathing throughout the day. You can even do it while you're sitting, while you're driving, to do a deep, deep breath. Get in the habit of doing that, and I guarantee you after a while you'll notice the difference. Okay, we're getting ready to do our cool downs. And the very first one that we do that is standing up is what I call the leg stretch. And it's like a, if you were in a race and you see runners in the start position, then they'll get down like this, make sure your back leg is straight, and then they do just a small bounce to stretch it that much more. Okay, make sure your back foot is perpendicular to your front. Helps you with an anchor. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, let's do our opposite side. Okay. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Now the rest of our Cool downs are sitting down. Okay. Remember, sit halfway up in your chair, back relatively straight. Feet always lined up with your hips. Our very first one is our chin. And don't scrump your whole head and your shoulders. You want to keep them pretty well straight in your head. Just bend your chin down. Okay? Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Slowly bring your head up, rotate it all the way to the right as far as you can. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Slowly bring your head back all the way to the left. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Slowly return your head back to center. Okay, now we're just going to let our arms drop down to our side and we're going to Pull our shoulders up. Class likes to call this the Shrek for 12. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Reach for the clouds. Okay, if you have upper arm issues, hold your arm out, but bring your hand back. That'll allow you to stretch this inner muscle that much more. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Opposite. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 and 12. The next are our elbows and issues, upper arm issues. Just hold your elbow out like this. If not, hold it up. Point your elbow as high as you can, pointing toward the ceiling. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Opposite arm. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Now, this next one, a little hard to get, takes you several times to get it, but what we're going to do is form a W with our palms facing outward. We're going to take a breath, deep breath in, hold it for just a second, and then when we exhale, I want you to squeeze this part of your shoulders and this part of your shoulder blades, your upper uh, shoulder area, and here in the back. Okay, ready? Inhale. Exhale and squeeze. Release. Inhale. Exhale and squeeze. Relax. Inhale. Exhale and squeeze. Relax. Inhale. Exhale and squeeze. Relax. Okay. Now this next one, put your hands down to your sides. This is called our ballet arc. And we're going to just bring it up and form a perfect circle. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Slowly release your arms. Okay. Now our last couple is going to be our hamstring stretch. Come up a little further on your chair for this one. Extend your right leg and do not bend your knee. You want to keep that straight. I want you to try to touch your toes. If you can't touch them without bending your knee, that's okay. Point your toes down towards the floor. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. The second half of this one is pick your foot up on your heel and point your toes back towards you as much as you can. You are going to feel that now on the back of your calf, your calf muscles behind your knee and your lower hamstring. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, left side. Okay, the first part, point your toes down towards the floor. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now pick your foot up on your heel, point it back towards you. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Now you might want to come back just a little bit more on your chair. Make sure you're still halfway up. And it's very important that your feet are lined up no further out than your hips. We're going to get down and touch our toes. Do not allow your knees to go outward. It helps you not at all. I'd rather you only go halfway down, and I tell you what, you're really going to feel this on your belly and your muffin top, ladies. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, let's get up, do our two breathing techniques, soft knees, ready, begin. One more time. Okay. 
Okay, that's it for today. I'm feeling better than what I did when I come in here. I hope you all had a really great day, a great time. Let me know if you have any issues, concerns, you want uh, me to do an alternative move for you. Be share this with your family, your friends, your church buddies. And again, have a wonderful couple of days. See you on Thursday. Bye now.